Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And this is going to be my five monthly recommendations for you for the month of February. Now, February was a little bit of a down month. I mean, we do only have 28 days, but I only watched 66 films this month. Seemed like there was more, but there wasn't. Um, and the only thing I usually tell you guys what I watch that I don't own but I do own it. I did get around to watching a Universal Monster documentary. Um, you'll hear me talk about that later in months, but by the time you hear about it, I will have already watched it. If that makes any sense. Probably not, but that's okay. All right. Now this is where I pick five movies and two honorable mentions that are first time watches that I really enjoyed. Okay. The first honorable mention is Beware Children at Play. Um, I've been wanting to see this for a really long time, and I really enjoyed it. I love killer kid movies. I just think it's fun, and it kind of threw me for a loop because I expected it to be kind of a little bit more like the children from Troma, but it wasn't. It was something different, and this is also, of course, a Troma movie, but I appreciated that they went in a different direction. Because I really enjoyed it. I've heard a lot of people trash this movie. And I really enjoyed it. <laughs> thought it was a lot of fun. But I also like trauma movies. So if you don't like trauma. Probably not your cup of tea. And that's Beware of Children at Play. God, I love that cover. That cover is so cool. Always love it. Alright. My second honorable mention. Is something I really wanted to put in my top five. But it just didn't make it. And that is... I don't know if you guys want to hear the Spanish version of this, because I can't really speak Spanish, but La Bambola de Satana, which I've been walking around the house just yelling at. But anyway, um, it's Satan's Doll, and it's a giallo that I was able to pick up from my friend's store. Um, this is a Twilight Time, and I'm not sure if it's still available. I don't think it is, and if it is, it's probably like 50 or $60, because Twilight Time just... They do that. But this does come with a booklet. Uh, most of their releases that I've seen are just kind of bare bones. But this was a really good giallo. I enjoyed it a lot. And that's my second honorable mention. All right, coming in at number five. And this has gone through s several different um, changes. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be The Curse of Bridge Hollow. I really enjoyed this, and you guys have, I, I don't know if you guys watched Joe and uh, my stream for, for the uh, best films of 2022, but this was around the middle, and I really enjoyed it. I love the, the whole premise of the Halloween decorations coming to life. Just a really, really fun movie, and I believe it's on Netflix. Yeah, that makes sense, Netflix. So thank you, Joe, for making this copy for me. I appreciate it. It helped when we were when we were not only watching it, but for the countdown as well. But this was a great movie, and I will be revisiting this a lot, <laughs> no doubt. All right, coming in at number four is a movie, the last movie I watched of the month, and that is Open Water 3, Cage Dive. Uh, this movie really, really impressed me. You'll hear more about it on a future video, but I was so impressed by this. Um, I said it in the video, but I'm going to say it now. Uh, if you guys get a chance, they used to have these at Walmart for $5 for all three films. And I will tell you that I do have the DVDs as well, and this does look better. It is a better picture quality. And only for $5 for three movies? Can't really go wrong there. And that is Open Water 3, Cage Dive. Really good film. Okay, coming up at number three. Is a movie that uh, scared me half to death. That's a movie called Fall. I am deathly afraid of heights. And this movie just... Um, it, it was rough. It was a rough watch. I... It's one of the things that gets to me is uh, heights, and this was done incredibly well. 
for something to be able to get to me. I'm also claustrophobic, but I think heights is a little bit worse for me now. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty heavy. And that is fall. Uh, coming up at number two is yet another movie that people trashed, and I don't understand why. Um, it's going to be the new Firestarter, which I put off getting. I ended up getting a copy for uh, Black Friday. And Joe and I watched it for an upcoming um, video that you will see later. Um, I have no idea where the hate in this comes from. I do like the original, but it the pacing is just so bad. It's two hours long. And this is just done so much better. I prefer this to the original Firestarter. 100%. Take it any way you like it, but this is a really good film. And that is Firestarter. And number one, before I get to number one, I'm going to start picking a just a normal movie I watched during the um, month that I don't keep track of because all I keep track of are uh, horror movies on my account uh, for the 66. But I did watch Revolver. Now, this is an Italian crime film with uh, Oliver Reed and Fabio Testi. And this movie was really, really freaking good. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available or if somebody else put it out, because I know a lot of the Blue Underground titles are uh, going out of print, but this movie is fantastic. If you like crime dramas, if you like Italian cinema, check out Revolver. It's really good. And as I said before, coming in at number one, that's kind of like an extra, extra honorable mention. But anyway. Coming in at number one was a movie that is is streaming on Peacock, and that is Sick. Uh, this was written by Kevin Williamson, of course, who wrote Scream um, and Dawson's Creek and some other stuff. And uh, this movie completely impressed me. I love it. I think it's great. Um, I think it was, I can't remember what, it was probably in the top five. Of the 30 films that Joe and I picked. I love this movie. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love the premise. It actually shocked me. Which not many movies do nowadays. Um, but yeah. Really good film. And once again. Thank you Joe for um, making this copy for me. Uh, it's awesome. And it really helped out our countdown. So recapping. Sick. Number one. Fantastic movie. Of course, we got Revolver, which was my uh, honorable honorable mention, I guess. <laughs> we have the new Firestarter, which I completely love. I think it's awesome. Don't really care what anyone else thinks. And uh, we have Fall, which was pretty uh, petrifying. Uh, Open Water 3, Cage Dive. Uh, rounding out the top five is The Curse of Bridge Hollow. You can watch that on Netflix if you have Netflix streaming. Uh, my first honorable mention is Satan's Doll or La Bambola di Satana. Yeah. And uh, my second honorable mention is Beware Children at Play. Let me know what your guys' top five are. And um, thank you for watching. If you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.